this in the foreground. Yeah, I'm going to tell the Ric Flair story because that is possibly one of my favorite news stories. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so it all started when I was a little kid and I loved professional wrestling. As did we all when we were little kids, right? <laughs> no. You, you did. <laughs> anyway, I mean like little, little, but Ric Flair was always my favorite because he was always such a drunk dickhole to everyone that like nobody liked him, right? He was like such the biggest cocksucker ever. So like, alright, I don't know, me being a uh, drunk Tim and a naked guy all the time, like I'm always naked, right? So I'm never uncomfortable being naked in front of anyone. But usually people get super uncomfortable the first time they have sex with someone and the first time that you're like naked in front of someone, right? Right? <laughs> right? It happens. There's that moment of uncomfort like there's that moment of uncomfortableness. It's only natural. So I always thought it would be really funny <laughs> the first time that I got naked in front of someone to point at my boner and just go, Whoa! <laughs> and walk around the room and be like, Nature Boy! So, uh, <laughs> so, I'm at this, so I'm at this party in New Jersey, right? And I'm fucking getting hammered, as normally I normally would get hammered. It was just business as usual, you know? Business as usual. So, I'm at this party getting hammered, and I'm hitting on this chick, and um, I'm going to tell you something about Jersey girls that anyone from New Jersey who's watching right now probably won't like me for. Um, they're a bunch of bitches, I'm going to say that. The whole state of New Jersey is filled with a bunch of bitches. <laughs> I mean, they're the kind of girls that, like, seriously, all right. They'll lead you on to think like one thing and then they'll do another or like I don't know how to explain it, but I just I just don't like it. I just don't get along with them. I'm not you know, okay, I was in New Jersey for like from December until July and I only had sex with three girls. <laughs> and for me that's abnormal. The first four weeks me being uh, the first what was it? Not even a month of being back I had sex with four girls. New girls too, not old ones. <laughs> not, not battlegrounds that already scorched earth <laughs> and reamed buttholes. But, uh, <laughs> relentlessly. <laughs> relentlessly splunked a butthole. And, but uh, but <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know what spelunking is, <laughs> it's cave diving. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so I'm at this party and I'm, this chick is totally into me, so I'm like, cool. And like, girls up there are like guys who are like complete and total dicks. Which should mean that they would like me, you know? But, but for some reason I guess I'm like an obnoxious dick, which isn't cool to them for some reason. But I don't know, some girls got it, some didn't. Anywho, so I'm hitting on this chick and like I totally realized I was going to get some. And I'm like, that's fucking sweet. So I'm gonna, I told all my friends, I'm like, the next time I have sex with a random girl, I'm doing the Ric Flair. And they're like, awesome, you better, we're holding you to it. So we're at this party, and there's a band room, and I'm making out with this chick, and I'm doing shit with this girl in this band room. And, uh, <laughs> there's a PA in there, so while we're making out, I kind of like flip on the PA. <laughs> and I'm like, all my friends are outside, they know what is coming, but they didn't think I was doing it over the PA, right? And like... Like, like, the house kind of got a little quieter when I went in there, because they were all, like, kind of listening for the, the, woo, nature boy, and, like, stomp around the room, you know? So, so it gets to the point where we're about to do it, and, like, I stand up, <laughs> I grab the mic, and I'm just like, woo, and there's, like, an echo on it. And I'm and like you can hear everybody in the house just drop and start laughing and I'm like Nature Boy and like went around the room and like like I just wanted to see what her reaction would be. She laughed and then had sex with me. Uh, okay, now now think about this. Now is it crazy of me to go woo? Nature Boy, or is it crazy of her after?
after I did that, of knowing me less than two and a half hours, to still just laugh at me and have sex with me, I could have been a serial killer. I mean, that's something like somebody really fucked up would do. Like, like honestly, like seriously, girls out there, I'm gonna anybody else besides me. Gotta yeah, tell about the Walmart in Naples, dude. Oh, the Walmart in Naples. All right, I'll tell that one. Two now. separate stories. Yeah, girls coming for me. Anyone out there, unless it's me, that says "woo" and has it planned out before they have sex with you, is probably a serial killer. And or probably gay. has AIDS. Probably has AIDS. They might be gay too. Because <laughs> who would gay? think of Ric Flair when you have a huge raging boner about to stick it inside some hot ass chick? Man, Ric Flair! <laughs> you know? But all I gotta say is to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Woo! <laughs> Thank you.